Thank you very much, Dr. Dyson, and thanks for giving me the opportunity to share some key findings of a big phase three study that I'm going to report on Monday afternoon in the sarcoma session. This is a randomized open-label multi-center phase three trial investigating iribulin versus darcarbazin in patients with rare sarcomas called leiomyosarcomas or adipocytic or liposarcomas. Soft tissue sarcoma is a very heterogeneous family of very rare cancers and the liposarcoma subfamily and leiomyosarcomas are among the more common subtypes of soft tissue sarcomas. Patients with advanced metastatic disease have very poor outcomes and the number of systemic treatment options for these patients are very, very limited. This study was a global effort. More than 100 sarcoma sites in 22 countries were involved in this huge study. The investigational compound that we tested is iribulin, which is a synthetic analog of, a halicon, of halicondrin B, which is a drug that originates from a marine sponge. Iribulin is primarily a cytotoxic compound and has antimitotic effects in the preclinical models but also in the clinic. In addition, preclinical work has shown that the drug also affects the tumor cells via other mechanisms such as reversal of the epithelial mesenchymal transition, suppression of tumor cell migration and invasion. The drug is currently approved in almost 60 countries for the treatment of advanced breast cancer. This is showing the study design of our trial. We enrolled patients with liposarcomas or leiomyosarcomas, intermediate or high grade. These patients were heavily pretreated and had received at least two previous lines of systemic therapy for advanced or metastatic disease. They had measurable disease according to RESIST, were randomized one to one to receive either iribulin, which is given days one and eight every three weeks intravenously, or the standard agent darcarbazin, and the investigators could choose the dose for each treatment in the control arm. The primary endpoint of this study was overall survival, which is the hardest endpoint you can choose in clinical research and the most reliable endpoint, I would say. In addition, we looked at classical secondary and exploratory endpoints, such as progression-free survival, progression-free rate, objective responses, but we also looked at patient-reported outcomes. Our patient population was very well balanced, and I won't share too many details about patient characteristics here today in the interest of time. The most important finding of this study was that the primary endpoint of overall survival in this study was met. Iribulin had a favorable overall survival of 13.5 months as compared to the standard agent darcarbazin, which had an overall survival of 11.5 months. The hazard ratio was 0 0.1768, 0 0.768, sorry, and the p-value was 0 0.0169. We looked at the safety profile uh, of uh, the drugs that we used in this trial, and we found that the safety findings matched our experience with these two drugs in other settings of oncology. There were no new safety findings that we made. There were only two treatment-related deaths in this study, both occurring in the iribulin arm. In summary, this is the very first phase three trial investigating patients with soft tissue sarcoma to demonstrate an overall survival benefit of a new agent compared with an active agent. Patients treated with iribulin in this study experienced a statistically significant improvement in median overall survival as compared to darcarbazin, 13.5 versus 11.5 months. The adverse events we observed were in line with the known safety profiles of both compounds. And for me, as a sarcoma oncologist, this is a clinically meaningful result given the high unmet medical need in this very rare and hard to treat family of diseases. Thank you very much.